Hi everybody, it's Lauren Brown, also known as Raggedy Royal on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and now YouTube. Today we're going to be doing my perfect nude lip combo. And this is going to be part of a series called Makeup Fundamentals, which I also have a playlist for, where I make dedicated videos on which y'all want to know about most. Mostly aimed towards beginners in makeup, because y'all know I love to explain stuff. So yes, we've already done how I do my fluffy brows, how I apply faux lashes, and my base routine, which basically goes over why do you use foundation? Why do you use concealer? Where do you put contour? Where do you put highlight? Where do you put blush? Why? Why do you do all those things? Where do you put setting powder? So if you want to see more of those videos after you watch this one, you can click right in the playlist that will show up in the cards and be down in the description box. But today we're going over my new lip combo as requested. So if you want to see how I put this lip together and what I use, keep on watching. Okay, so you're going to want to do your lips last. Why? Lips have more wear and tear than anything on the face. You'll notice that when you go through your entire day, what do you have to do? reapply a lot of? Your lip product, your lip gloss, your lipstick. So I always do my lips last for that reason. Also, I just can't imagine doing the rest of my face with my lips already on and like powder and foundation, you know, all over. So do your lips last, all right? So now I'm gonna talk about what I'm using. You know when I explain what I'm using, I always explain why I'm using it. So let's first talk about the dark color, right? So I'm always gonna start lining my lips with a dark shade. So today we're gonna be using the NYX Cosmetics Epic Smoke Liner in Mocha Match. And this has a precise tip, kind of like a pencil. And so this shade is a nice neutral brown and I really do love using a neutral brown, especially for my everyday, everyday lip combos because it goes with everything. So it's not too warm, leaning more towards reddish browns. It is not too cool, leaning towards more gray browns. It is neutral, okay? Neutral, and you'll see when I apply it to the lips. But let's talk about some different options for your dark shade, right? So this is kind of like a pencil. Another pencil that I really, really love is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Sunnyvale. Any ColourPop pencil that looks like this, whether it's a cream gel liner, which is like technically for the eyes, but it's so good for lips, or their uh, lip liners, any brown one, always good. Always, always good. Shout out to ColourPop for that. These are out. <laughs> These are out, but I love these as well. And I also sometimes go for a liquid lipstick. So this is the Abani Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick and Killer Queen. Now here's the difference between a lip, liquid lipstick and a lip pencil for your lips. First of all, let's just watch them and I kind of show you the big differences. Okay, so liquid lipstick, first of all, is going to take more time to dry down. So if you're in a rush, you're going to want to use a pencil. Also, the lip pencils are more precise. So if I want to do a lip that is a little bit less brown heavy, I'm going to use a lip pencil. But if I want to do something that's more brown heavy, I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick because those take up more space on the lips because they don't have a precise tip. And they're also just bolder and a little bit darker, especially these two of my faves. This one is just bolder, right? I also believe that the liquid lipstick has a better staying power. So if you're worried about your lipstick, you know, coming off under your mask or coming off the rest of your day, I'll go live with a liquid lipstick. But if you want something quick and easy, I would definitely go with the lip liner. Or you could do both, meet in the middle, dance all night. But these are the pros and cons. I always have to give you the pros and cons. So now I'm going to take my epic smoke liner and I am going to line the lips. So I like to go a little bit over my top lip and a little bit under my bottom lip. So overlining. So what is overlining? Overlining is when you go above and beyond the shape of your lips. I would do that a little bit just to define the shape more, not too much, you know, the 2017 era of people overlining their lips and having like a lipstick mustache. We're not doing that. But I do like to give them the entire definition that they deserve by going a little bit out of bounds. Nobody ever made history by staying in the bounce, okay? So, ah! If you watch my red lip combo, you were probably like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have to highlight the cupid's bow. Not just my lip, my red lip combo video. Pretty much any video where I do my lips. We have to highlight the cupid's bow. I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter in Happy Thoughts, her always. I'm gonna be taking this on a ColourPop F11 brush. I'm gonna highlight the cupid's bow. What is highlighting the cupid's bow going to do? Highlighting the cupid's bow is going to attract attention right into that little V. That's what a cupid's bow is, the little V right above your lipstick. And it's going to help you with definition later. So I'm going to take the liner now. And I'm going to go right above my top lip on the right side and my left side. 
Those are not even, so we will fix it. Don't worry. Now I'm just going to clean the line up on the bottom. But I'm not going to leave it there, right? Because if we just add <laughs> liquid lipstick and pink shades in the middle of it right now, it's going to look like a fence, a border. It's not supposed to be a border. It's supposed to be an ombre, right? So we're going to need to bring it down just a little bit. So I'm going to just bring it down onto the lip. Boom, boom. Now some days when I'm lazy, I just add a little bit of lip balm right here and we're all good. But that's not my signature lip combo and that's not what we're here for. But when do you ever just leave my videos with one thing, <laughs> one tip and trick? So if you ever just feel like in a crunch, I can't find any of my other stuff, liquid lipstick, a little bit of lip balm, you'll be all right. All right, now, we are going to add what I'm going to call the main lipstick, right? So this is going to be the lipstick that goes in the center of the lip. So today we're going to be using Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Shrift, right? We're going to go with Tried and True Nude. And so this is a liquid lipstick. So all the things I was saying about liquid lipstick before apply here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to the center of my lips. And do a little... Little beatbox action. Now, if you're trying to be extra, I know I'm gonna pull the brush out. This is a Morphe M166, and really any small brush that has bristles that move, right? So you don't use any brush that has bristles that are too hard because that's gonna do is gonna drag and scrape the product instead of blending it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to the outbounds where the brown and the nude meet. I'm gonna blend it. Now, at this step, like I said about the pencil, it's not super, super dark. So if you wanna go back in, add a little bit on the outskirts, go ahead and do it. All right, so we're looking good. At this step, you can add the gloss on top or you can do the ombre a little bit more and that's what we're gonna do. So some people use concealer for this step. I'm gonna be using the About Face Matte Liquid Eye Paint and On Point and I'm going to be taking that right to the center of my lips. So if you watch my red lipstick video, I did a red lipstick ombre where I did a burgundy shade, a red shade, and then the orange was right in the middle to attract the eye and to make more definition for the entire ombre, right? That is exactly what this light pink shade is gonna do. Like I said, some people use concealer, some people use white eyeshadow bases. I like using this pink shade because I feel like since my nude is a little bit on the dark side for my taste for my liquid lipsticks, this will kind of lighten it up and create definition. I'm gonna pat that out. If you don't have a brush, you're on the go. Let's go like this until you're satisfied. Boom, free. The other reason why these days I add that lighter shade is because I like to go in with a colored gloss. Let's talk glosses, right? Cause I could talk about this all day. So I'm gonna be going in with the Fenty Heat Fussy Heat Lip Gloss in uh, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Heat, I mess this up every video. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Heat Gloss in Fussy Heat. But I also love this one right here, which is the Kosas Lip Oil in Unhooked. These are my two favorite color glosses. This is about as, as colored colored glosses I get with my new lip combos. I don't want anything too pink, too red, too orange, too purple. Th this is about as crazy as I get for the gloss. Now, I just became a pink gloss girl. For the longest, I was a clear gloss girl from 
forever. I've always been a clear, clear gloss girl. And let me tell you something right now. These Broadway lip glosses from the beauty supply store, these are the only clear glosses you need, okay? I've had drugstore glosses, high-end glosses, name brand gloss. Go get you a 99 cent. They might be more because of inflation. 99 cent gloss from the beauty supply store. And I have the flavors mint and I have mango. I love mint, but I put mint on my eyes one time. And so then I had to start buying mango. <laughs> get these clear glosses. And I always recommend a squeeze tube for glosses because you're going to get that real juicy look on your lips. You might even run a little bit, so just be careful. But you get a juicy look on your lips instead of having to use half the tube on one of these. Like, it takes so long to get product out and to get that real juicy effect. You know you're not supposed to go like this because that puts air in the tube. So, just frustrating all around. So whether you take a clear gloss today or a whether you take a clear gloss today or a pink gloss, this step will be the exact same in application. And that is simply to apply lip gloss. You've been doing it for a long time, probably. Same thing. Oh my gosh, am I running out? This is a nightmare. Fenty, please. I've used this lip gloss to its bone. It, it's a plumping lip gloss. I hate plumping lip glosses because I always feel like they make me feel like a science experiment. I just feel like one of the volcanoes in a fourth grade class. But I've used this lip gloss to the bone so much it's not even tingling no more. And this one doesn't tingle too much, so this is the only plump, plump lip gloss. All the other plumping lip glosses, them lip, lip plumping. No, I don't like, I don't like all that reaction on there. Mm -mm. But we're done with the lips. <laughs> Sorry, tangent. We're done with the lips. So here is how I do my new lip combo. I may switch out the products every now and then, but the colors and the steps stay the exact same. This will highlight my new lips. And yes, this is going to be part of a playlist called Makeup Fundamentals in a series where I teach the fundamentals of makeup. So I think the last video or the video before last was how I do my fluffy brows. A little while ago, I did how do I apply lashes. I have a base video for how I do contours, highlights, where do you put blush, where do you put setting powder, all of that. And I have a red lip combo and a few other tutorials that are gonna be in that playlist. So if you wanna know how I did any of the rest of my face today, check that out. We're gonna have a waterline video coming soon. So that'll be the only thing on my face that I haven't made a video on, which I'm really excited about. Check me out on other socials at Raggedy Royal on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Also, if you try this lip combo out, I wanna see it. I wanna see what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe, because I've noticed a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So just take a second and check it out. Also comment down below what type of videos you wanna see next, especially in the Makeup Fundamentals series, because I have not been a beginner in makeup for a little while. Some things I overlook because I do them so often. So like people wanting a dedicated video on lip combo. I'm like, of course, I got you. But it always helps when y'all tell me what you wanna see next. I write down my sketchbook, I have a whole page, I scratch it off, it's a whole thing. So let me know what you wanna see next. I'll see you in my next video, bye.